Hello, in this video, I will introduce you my end of term question for the introduction to Vistia course. The name of my project is Digital and Analog Clock Printing on a VGA Screen. I used the basis 3 card in the project and checked my clock on the VGAs using the button and switch on the basis 3 card. I added options with this to my watch. If you press the middle button on the basis 3 card, it directs you to the option screen from the main screen. The yellow color on the lines and text indicates that you are on that option. The right and left buttons on the basis 3 card are used to switch between options. As you can see in the video, if you press the middle button on the color option, you can set your color to various colors. In the second option, location option, you can change the position of the clock separately or together. In the third option, you can change the city part of your watch and press the results, taking into account the time in your current location. In the fourth option, you can set an alarm for the clock. After selecting the alarm option here, you can set the seconds, minutes and hours with the right and left buttons. After setting, you can exit with the middle button. When the alarm time comes, the user is warned by flashing lights as a warning and at the same time an alarm sign symbol is led on the bottom right of the clock screen. In this way, the alarm warning signs of the watch and after 20 seconds of lighting. Here, I expect it to set the alarm again and go off in the 9th minute. In order to reduce the waiting in between, I demonstrate the feature of increasing the frequency, which is the other option of the clock, by using a switch. This way, I make it count the clock faster. I reset the clock and set it as the 8 minute. As you can see, the alarm of the clock is working correctly. The fifth option of the watch was to add a stopwatch feature to this watch. Here I made the clock count down from the minute I set. The operation of the stopwatch doesn't affect the operation of the current time and the current time continues to count correctly.
The sixth op option of the watch is to set the time. We change the current time of the clock using the settings option. As you can see, the changes applied to the clock appear in the analog and digital clock. In this section, I wanted to show some features in general again. This was the final project of my introduction to VHDL course. I hope you like. Thank you for listening to me.